Greetings, good people. So, for today, we are going to cover the concept of redox reactions. Uh, this concept is a uh, taught in grade 10, grade 11, grade 12 under electrochemical reactions, and already one can tell that it's examined in all the grades. What are we talking about when we say something is a redox reaction? It simply means that the reduction together with the oxidation uh, these are uh, types of chemical reactions that we are saying if they are redox reactions they will occur simultaneously that if something loses electrons let's assume that okay initially the hydrogen was like this this is the natural state of hydrogen. Then it loses its electrons that we're going to have two and then given by uh, the positive here uh, plus the two in. That uh, hydrogen lost electrons here. It lost electrons. This is oxidation. This is oxidation and some call it the anode. And then again, we have a situation whereby Cu uh, two plus plus uh, 2e yes 2e minus giving us uh, the cu that um, many people call it or scientists call it reduction and that others are calling it a cathode that's a cathode reaction why are they saying so this is for grade 12 this is for grade 12 also but this is for grade 10 to 12 this is for grade 10 to 12 so now let's uh, quickly follow and then i'll show you all the reasons why are they saying so so we will start with in <laughs> choose uh, reduction or oxidation oxidation sorry reduction or oxi uh, oxidation no, it's fine i'll just choose at random the one which comes first so normally i use a uh, mnemonics uh, to best help students memorize this concept uh, this concept of redox reaction so we'll start with Liora. Liora. Mm, is it visible? Okay, let me just erase again. And then, before we can uh, try to write, and then I'll use another marker. Ah, symbol. I don't want to make uh, things difficult for you. For me. So now we'll start with Liora. Uh, many people call it Liora, but Liora. Uh, that's uh, to say uh, substance use elect electrons substance lose elect electrons through oxidation reaction as it is being oxidized Thus, the oxidizing a, a substance will be known as a reducing agent. Thus, the oxidizing substance. Oh, sorry. Okay, so now the word Liora, we took letter L from here for the loose and then letter E from this word electrons and then the first O from this oxidation and then the second O for oxidized and thus the oxidizing substance will be known as a, the, first, uh, the, the, the R and the A, that's Liora. If they say what is a reducing agent, what is a reducing agent? You simply tell them that a reducing agent it refers to a substance which loses its electrons and it's oxidized and it's oxidized a substance which loses its electrons and it's oxidized that hydrogen is a diatomic molecule and then it can lose two <laughs> Well, we have two, but you use two <laughs> plus uh, two 
that a hydrogen can lose <laughs> its electrons. Wow, hydrogen can be a fun um, atom as it donates, even though it doesn't have anything. And then again, they can say what is um what is oxidation reaction. Okay. You just tell them that it refers to a chemical reaction by which um, electrons are lost or by which okay, substances lose electrons If you can just say it this way, then it's more than enough. We've said more than enough. That what is oxidation reaction? It's a chemical reaction by which substances lose electrons. What is a reducing agent? It's a substance which loses electrons and is being oxidized. That you've taken almost everything from here. That for grade 12, I said the anode is for grade 12. You will just add uh, the uh, letter A here, which means um, anode. That at the anode. The substance loses its electrons. At the anode, the substance loses electrons through oxidation reaction. So now, if they say what happens at the anode, you simply tell them that substances lose electrons through oxidation reaction. This means that at the anode, you can only have this reaction. That's why they're calling it an anode reaction. Anode reaction or oxidizing reaction. That's a half oxidizing reaction. So now, if this one occurs alone, it's just oxidation, it's not a redox reaction. For it to be a redox reaction, uh, the reduction must occur at the same time. So I'll quickly highlight the issue of reduction. For reduction, okay, let me wait so that this way I thought is out because you know our problems uh, the more we sanitize it the more it contains uh, more of the COVID-19 <laughs> well, so now uh, for reduction we are going to use the mnemonic GEROA GEROA that uh, the substance gain electrons through Reduction reaction as it becomes reduced as it becomes reduced the reduced substance will be known will be known as an oxidizing agent. Simple, right? The, re uh, the reduced substance will be known as a reducing agent. If they say what is a reducing agent, uh, oxidizing agent, this is what you should tell them. What is oxidizing agent? What is oxidizing agent? Or, before I could go any further, from this weird gear, letter G was taken from here, letter E here, and then first letter R here, second letter R here, then the OA is this one, of oxidizing agent. So now, if they say, what is an oxidizing agent? What is oxidizing agent in a nutshell? You simply tell them that oxidizing agent is a substance which gains electrons and it's being reduced. It's um substance which gains electrons. And it's being reduced. Again, if they say what is reduction reaction, this is what you should tell them. A reduction reaction is a chemical reaction by which substances gain electrons. Simple. That's the same, um, for example, Cu2 plus uh, plus 2E, they will give us our Cu. This is um, the uh, cathode reaction. Cathode reaction. Cathode reaction. 
or just the production. Some call it a half reaction. Why are we saying it's a half reaction? Because we are talking about redox. For a redox to be complete, oxidation and reduction must occur at the same time. That's half half, then they will make a complete uh, reaction. That's half plus half is equal to one. So now, this is the cathode reaction. Uh, now, this is for grade 12. Cathode reaction is for grade 12. For grade uh, 10 to 11, you're going to use the word uh, reduction. But for grade 12, you're going to add letter C here. C, gero. C is for add the cathode. Add the cathode. Add the cathode. The substance gain electrons through reduction reaction as it becomes reduced. And the reduced substance will be known as an oxidizing agent. So now, can you see that if you have the two mnemonics, you have the entire chapter. As long as you have the two mnemonics, you have the entire chapter. That you shouldn't worry. For great results, I will make part two and then engage in the issues around the uh, the standard electrode potentials as we will be doing the voltaic cell as the galvanic cell together with the electrolytic cell but uh, you have the Garoa Garoa plus Li or Aura we said the two form a redox reaction a redox reaction again we said they will occur simultaneously They will okay simultaneously. This is for grade 10 to 11, actually to 12, and then in addition for grade 12. In addition for grade 12, you will just use the word uh, C Garoa. C Garoa, just call it like this. It will help you Garoa. It will help you to best memorize the issues around a uh, redox reaction, more especially under electrochemical reactions. And then, the, for this one, you'll just add the word, uh, the, the letter A, Aliora. Or get the word, baby. I know that uh, most of you are babies or just South African. Uh, you're, more, you're more than welcome to call it Aliora, so that you uh, avoid losing some information. But as long as you have this new month, already you have realized that you can answer questions around what is an oxidizing agent, a reducing agent, and thus they can say uh, differentiate between an oxidizing agent and a reducing agent. You simply tell them that an oxidizing agent is a, it refers to a substance which gains electrons, whereas the reducing agent refers to a substance which loses electrons and it's being oxidized. But our oxidizing agent will be reduced. And then again, they say, what is a reduction reaction? We tell them that it's a chemical reaction by which substances gain electrons. And then for oxidation, we simply tell them that um, the oxidation refers to a chemical reaction by which substances lose electrons. That's, did you get the differences? Because um, in a nutshell, we have uh, the proper tools and the, uh, the required tools for you to pass uh, any test, exam, or whatever. So make sure that next year, you go to varsity or you go to grade 11 if you're in grade 10 or if you're in grade 11 make sure that you go to grade 12 so now for grade 12 uh, i'll make part two of this video talking about the galvanic or voltaic cell together with the electrolytic cell and that it will lead us to standard electrode potential and so forth uh, worry less, I'm going to show you this chapter in detail. Otherwise, good night. Thank you very much. Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's a uh, Kiriot SA. Kiriot SA. 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 Kiriot SA. Kiriot SA. And feel free to ask questions on my WhatsApp. It's 076 592 Thank you very much. Good night. Have a brilliant night. Or have a brilliant day. Have a brilliant morning if you're watching this in the morning. Please share this video with your friends, family, whoever you think might need this information. Bye. Ciao, ciao.